Hey guys, and welcome back to Blue Stinger. When we last left off, we had some technical issues, but we have persevered, and we have now uh, got the key that we actually finally need. Now let's actually double check and triple check and quadruple check our pockets to make sure we actually do have... We do. We do now have the town pass. Good, good. Right. And I'm yawning like hell. Um, let's go to Lab Town. We've got a handgun equipped because, of course, we have. And we also have our big old baseball bat. Uh oh. Yes, dogs. Following us. Seems like she's in love with you. <laughs> Two girls and a guy. I see trouble in the near future. <laughs> in your dreams. <laughs> yeah, you gotta love the dialogue. It's it's terrible. It's so bad. Could you imagine like a line in a video game like that happening today? Oh no. Oh no. Cancel culture would be all over that shit, wouldn't it? Right, come on you big lummox. Come to Uncle Elliot. We're gonna grab every penny we can from you. There we go. Sweep the legs. That's what we like. We like to sweep the legs. Get back up you big old sack of shit. Right, time for a shakedown Elliot. Dude, come on. Can you, like, stay there and let me, like, bash your brains in? Ah, there we go. Well, I guess that's all he needed is a little tap on the back. God bless him. So, with a tap on the back done, let's go grab some coinage and continue our swath of destruction to Lab Town. Okay, now what could possibly be going on at Lab Town? A more sterile name. You know, you just don't get names like that anymore, do you? Another game that I really want to cover at one point, uh, but I do need to get a original Xbox to do it, although I do believe it's compatible with a 360, is Glitch, Metal Arms, Glitch in the System. And that was a wonderful game. And for some reason, Lab Town just makes me think of that. Um, there's been petitions for years to get Glitch remade. Uh, it was a third-person shooter on the Xbox where you control a robot called Glitch and you're fighting other robots and that sounds really humdrum and boring but it was actually like one of the best games of the generation um, from a visual standpoint and from a from a narrative standpoint it was really good and it was meant to be a, a third no it was it. it was meant to be a trilogy of games but they only brought out the first one and uh, there have been petitions and all this kind of stuff trying to get it kickstarted and whatnot, but nothing as of yet has come of that. But it's such a good game, honestly. All right, come here, you bag of shite. Give me your pennies. This is a shakedown. There we go. Give me your money. Ah, hey, friend. Now, I don't know if, um, like, the different colored shirts that they wear indicate how powerful they are or anything like that. And how did you miss? That's one of the eight wonders of the world, how he missed me there. Strange. Usually these guys are really hard to avoid. Like, they'll always hit you no matter what you do. And they can be fairly savage, but I guess that guy was just, you know, retarded and useless. Can you say retarded anymore? Is that, is that like, one of those things that's now like outlawed I mean fuck me running some of the stuff we used to say as kids Jesus you can't say that shit anymore There's the sheer mention of, of some of the things we used to call each other would have the uh, the the fucking I don't know what you call them the SJWs running to the hills running to their safe spaces and sucking their thumbs but hey we live in a different world now a shit of world but there we go. Right, come on, friend. A world with no humour, I think it's fair to say. There we go. Sit down. Are you going to get back up, sir? You're not. You could usually tell if they're not going to get back up because... Uh, I don't know. It's, it's hard to say. Like, they stay... If they're going to get back up, they get up pretty damn quickly. And if they're down for, like, more than a second or two, you know their time's up. Oof. Look how slow the bullets are. <laughs> that always cracked me up as well. Right, come on you. Let's go to work. Boom! And don't you just love this Christmas music? Oh my god. You know, just hearing this music again, man. It just... Ah, oh, it just instantly transports me to... Hey, 
simpler time. A happier time. You know? Just being a kid, not giving a fuck about anything. It was so cool back then, you know, not having to worry about anything. The biggest worry is where you're going to get your next bag of weed from or, um, you know, what's for dinner? What excuse are we going to come up with next to get out of doing our homework? Ah, good times, good times. Alright, come on you. Got a green and a yellow. Oh, we can handle them. Give me your money. Give me your money. Excellent. Not bad. We're actually doing all right, to be fair. Let's have a little check of our cash. Ah, uh, 6,000. You know, it actually it does take quite a while to build your money back up. There are certain enemies that pay out a lot more. Uh, but they're rare. And there are certain kind of like mini-boss creatures that will pay out an awful lot of money. But they don't respawn. You can only find them, uh, fight them once. Right, let's get that tentacle down. Oh, it's so good, man. You know, this is one of the first games um, that I played on the Dreamcast that I can remember. And it's so strange playing a game like that and you really think to yourself, yeah, the next generation is here. Because I never had that feeling with the PlayStation um, 4. It never felt like there was a big, you know, jump. Safety wall is blocking our way, and Rat's place is just behind this stupid wall. Hmm. There must be another way. Don't, Don't ask me. me. I just work here. Yeah, uh, I would have thought that you would have known something, dogs. Uh, let's see what Janine says. Uh, I don't know what you're listening to. How are you guys? Did you get a disc at Rat's place? As a matter of fact, we're not even in the place. This safety wall is completely blocking hmm. our way. Can you move the gate? Not right now. The air compressor is of down. Of course it is. Is there another path? Hold on. Let me look it up. In your own time. Yes, you can go through a freezer in the Hello Market. I'm not sure if it's open, but there should be a key in the shop. Key in the shop, you say? Hmm, Fine. well... Devil of the manager has a key, that is. I'm sure he'd be fine. Right, well, there should be a key down here. There we go, you found the Hello card, yes. Bit convenient that is. We get blocked off by one gate, but have no fear. There is a key card to the next area right at our feet. Yeah, um, I mean, coming from like the the PlayStation One to the PlayStation Two, I mean that was huge, right? The difference was was pretty significant. Um, you know, we, we we've, we've definitely hit the law of diminishing returns. I mean, especially been playing stuff like. Uncharted and Days Gone on the um, PlayStation 4. They really are quite impressive now, but when the machines first came out, they weren't really that good. And from what we've seen of the new systems as well, I think I think the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X are going to be a huge jump. I really do. I mean, PS4, uh, Xbox One were very mediocre upgrades. Uh, even at the time, they were nothing special from a hardware standpoint. In fact, they were awful in some aspects. Whereas the Series X and the PlayStation 5, they are juicy systems. Yeah, he's down. Give me your money. We like money. Money, money, money. Money. Uh, dude, you had three coins. Three coins. You're not worth my time. At least if I'm going to kill you, pay me. Oi. Come here. Come to Papa Elliot. Oi. Come on. 
Don't get too close. You don't want them to get too close to the exits. Because if they get too close to the exits and you kill them and you accidentally walk out, you'll lose all of your money and then you'll have to come back and you'll reset the area and they'll all be back to life. Now, we are going to have to grind in this game. Uh, grinding is like a big part of this game if you want to get all of the weapons. Uh, I will do that off camera. I don't know if I, I grinded for money or ground out money. Uh, on camera before, but this time I'll do it off camera. Just because, you know, watching me running around beating up enemies is is probably not the best use of your time. I'm just saying. Okay, come on you, get up. Come on, no sleeping on my watch, sir. Oof, you're ugly. I'd say only a mother could love you, but, you know, I question even that. Alright, give me your coins. Now, if we go in here, this is a save room. Nothing really in here. We've got a save station. There's loads of lockers. Unfortunately, we can't raid any of the lockers. I don't think. No, which is a shame. But let's go download the map. And... I thought my phone was vibrating then. Um, should we save the game? There's no point saving the game, really. Right, let's go back to side A of the mart. Now this is where one of the random ass um, missions will start actually, but we'll get to that in a minute. Let's just kick the crap out of this guy. We might as well take these guys out. They don't take too long to defeat and they give us cash. Cash money. Mm -mm -mm. We do like money in these parts. So it looks like someone spilled a whole barrel or something. Jesus. I'm going to say that's probably not paint. Now that's the video rental. Look how like drab this place looks as well. It really looks drab. Looks like someone's kind of struggled to make some kind of shop out of a warehouse. It really doesn't look like a shop, but hey. So what have we got here? Merry Christmas and happy holidays! Huh. Let's join in the happy market Christmas Yay! Now. Let's have some fun. like to join the stamp rally fuck yeah I want to buy special items all right well we're gonna join the stamp rally and we might as well I thought we could get one from there but I guess not okay cool so we're joining the stamp rally oh god I forgot about these guys well no matter it's so weird they hiss at you really weird creatures there's a vending machine here and of course we have one of the dudes here that we need well we now have pen pen sparky um i do like these contraptions as well look at this it's so futuristic they've got these massive like screens that i guess are just here to give you stamps it's really bizarre i like it though yes sir i like it doxin what the fuck is that who knows right well it's sold out anyway, so gee, I hope we don't have to use some of that later. Now, whilst we are a little bit injured, let's swig down a small hassie. Just because we can. I just noticed how blurry the health bar looks as well. God damn it, I can't believe we can't play this in VGA. Right, so we can go to the other side. Are we ready? Are we ready to cross over to the other side? This will... Only customers with all four stamps can go to the second floor. Yeah, we can't go to the second floor yet. Merry Christmas and let the challenge, uh, let's challenge the stamps. You got it, game. We're going to challenge the stamps. Okay, let's keep going. Because we want us a nice full set of stamps. Yes, sir. Oh, I can hear tentacles. And behind these boxes here, there's one of the tougher enemies. Come on. There we go. He's done. Yeah, one of the tougher enemies here. I mean, he's not really that much tougher. Uh, he's really slow and stupid. But his mutation has gone on further. There we go. Fucked him up pretty hardcore. But he drops a good amount of cash, to be honest. He does drop a good couple of hundred coins. 
Unfortunately, most of them do get stuck in this box, so... Yeah, well, one of them's got stuck in the box. And we're stuck in the box as well. Uh, so, he's worth kicking in every now and again. And he will respawn as well. Let's grab another magazine, because we did use one. Just because we can. We've got eight. We're not going to completely reload all of our ammo. Just in case we find a magazine out in the wild. Which does happen. So, what have we got down here? We have emergency 0030. Okay, 0030. Do you wonder if that's important? 0030 and 0050. Hmm, okay. Alright. Well, let's keep going. Let's go to the bowels of this place. Yes. Well, we don't want to go in there just yet. In there starts a mission. But the mission actually will give you a timer. Uh, it gives you like 40 odd minutes or something, so it's way more time than you're ever going to need to complete the mission. But there's no point in actually starting the timer just yet because, uh, you know, we can get like 80% of the mission done. But in fact, maybe all of the mission done, thinking about it, uh, before we even need to engage it. Right. Let's just kick the crap out of this guy. Give me your coins. There we go. Merry fucking Christmas, mate. Now pay up. There we go. Yeah, the only problem with the coins, as you see, the way they spill out all over the place, they can uh, and very often do just get caught up in the environments. What do you have on you, sir? Oh, you are hassy. Come on, Elliot. Stop kicking a man whilst he's down. He hungered for battle, and now he's full. Right, well, let's keep going. <clears throat> so, what have we got here? St oh, God, hello. These little bat things. They only take three rounds. Now, one thing to mention in this game as well. you got your uh, ammo counter there. You cannot reload until you empty your magazine. Um, that's the same for all weapons. You cannot reload halfway through. Right, he's dead. Yeah, let's just finish off this mag. That was a bad idea to reload that. Yeah, the UI itself is really strange when you think about it. And uh, there's definitely some question questionable decisions. It would have been cool if you could actually reload early, but then just waste off the whole magazine. That would have been nice, but... Oh, God. Let's clear out these tentacles. That's a big one, so yeah, five rounds. Now, look at all these goodies in here. Hmm. Yes, yes. Big red boxes and... Oh my, is that a new gun? Why, well, yes. Yes, it is. But we can't get access to that just yet. But if we complete an optional mission, we can get access to it. Which is pretty damn nice. Because all the guns we can get for free that we don't have to buy is good. Now, there are some weapons in this, of course, that you oof, that you can't buy. There is uh, at least one weapon that I'm thinking about in the lab. So it's kind of a secret, I think, actually. Right, well, let's shift this crate over. And it looks like we've got some buttons up here to fiddle with. Now, I don't need to tell you that Elliot likes to fiddle with buttons. You call him a fiddler. Right. Yeah. Now, up here is a nice little secret. At least there's a little secret down here. We found a large hassie and found a Kamara bank card. Yeah. There's a few bank cards to find in this game. And when we eventually get to the bank, uh, if we can work out what the pin number is to them, we can actually access the account and draw the money out, which I actually think is really cool. You can just, like, fucking rob these people. Admittedly, these people are probably dead. So, you know. Ah, uh, we need to push that over a little bit more. But yeah, it's a pretty cool little feature, to be honest. Uh, we even have Elliot's bank card on him. And the the money system in this game, or the economy, seems a little bit weird, which we will get into uh, as we play further into it. 
Uh, if we take uh, Elliot's money out now, I think he's only got like, I don't know, 20 bucks or 50 bucks in his bank account. But an event happens later where he gets Emergency more. Emergency shutter is now activated. Please enter the number of a shutter. Number of a like shutter, huh? Well, if we remember from earlier, there was zero, zero, three, zero. That needed to be open. Shutter number zero, zero, three, zero. Excellent. Is now deactivated. And one more. The emergency shutter is now activated. I have a feeling there's three shutters Please that we need to move, but I can't remember. Like I don't think so. I think it might just be two. There we go. Shutter number zero, zero, five, zero. Excellent. Well, deactivated. either way, that's cleared the way for us. So, we now have two new rooms to explore. So let's get back out of here. And of course, obviously, whilst we leave, all the enemies will respawn, which is fine. We can fill our wallet up just a little bit more. Get out of here. Nice. Oh, you've got a face that's just fun to smash. Oof. Yeah, that felt good. Right, had to have a little bit of a cut there. Ah, okay, cool. Now, where were we? Oh, yes, kicking ass. Let's continue. Although, I think, yeah, we're going back the wrong way because I suck. All right, so we killed him. And, we've un oh, yeah, we unlocked a couple of shutters, haven't we? This is excellent. Uh, there was no dude down there. No, that was in the next corridor that I'm thinking of. I haven't showed off the map yet, thinking about it. The map. Well, the map's not brilliant. Um, if we look at the stockroom map, I mean, it gives us a rough idea. It shows you where you are, uh, or what corridor or room you're in, but it doesn't show you where you are. Um, so, it's not that good. It's not like a Resident Evil quality kind of map system. But then saying that, even Resident Evil, uh, at least the older ones, they don't actually show you where you are in the room either, but yeah, I'm not a fan. So they're gonna give us a map, but I'd like to have a proper map where, you know, we're actually illustrated, especially if it's like some kind of computerized digital map like this. I mean, Silent Hill can kind of get away with it a little bit more because you're literally, most of the time, just looking at a scrap of paper, which is understandable to a point. But if we've got like a little pocket PDA computer thing going on, I want to know exactly where we are in that digital space. God damn it. Okay, cool. Uh, right, let's go do this guy in again, because this guy's worth a lot of cash. Let's actually aggro him out of here. There we go. Right, come on you. Boom, boom, boom. Now the cool thing about this uh, aluminium bat is it does stun him pretty well. Oh, you dickhead. Yeah, the hit detection is terrible as well. I might have to add that. They can really hit you in some funny places. Uh, especially as quite often you feel like you're out of shot of them. And they're still wing you. This guy's not appearing to drop as much money as I was hoping either. Ugh, oh well. Nope, I guess not. Right, well, let's quaff down a hassy, I suppose. Go for some food. Uh, let's chow down a sandwich. And what I like about this is notice he'll take like one bite and then throw the whole sandwich behind him. Don't quite understand that animation, but hey. Now that is a nice juicy room. That is a gun shop. But we can't get to there just yet. But we will. Don't you worry. Don't you worry your little heads about it. We'll be getting to the gun shop before you know it. Right, he should be dead. Yeah, he's dead. Now, there's a magazine of arrows there. But I'm pretty sure... Uh, we've already got Max. Nope, we're good. Nice. We can hold it. We can hold it. So I can hear a tentacle, which means you're going to die, buddy. And you know, it's weird. Like the, the graphics have aged, obviously. But 
it's still, it's not what I would call an ugly game, per se. But it is rough, for sure. For sure it's rough around the edges. But it's absolutely still playable. Now there are some bosses and whatnot that are going to be frustrating. There's a hanger magazine and a hassy here, I think. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, there are some bosses that do give you trouble later on just because uh, of the camera angles and whatnot. But, you know, it is what it is. 3D was still very new when this game came out. Alright, three shots. Three shots. Is it just the one? I could have sworn there was two in here. Huh? Eh, maybe not. Okay. So we've got the rental video card. Well, that was in the video room that we walked past earlier, so cool, I guess. Alright. Okay. Oh, yeah, of course, all the enemies are back. Now, notice how he spawned in a slightly different place there. He was actually right around the corner before. Unless, that's where he actually does spawn, but he wandered behind and around the corner because he was trying to get to us, maybe. That could also be true, I guess. Uh, hey, friend. How would you like my bat to the face? You don't like that, do you? Boom! No, no you do not. Oh, shit, before we leave here, actually, there is one more room that we can go into, thinking about it. We need to go in the room, because I think... Yeah, down here, that's it. This is the AV corner. I'm sure there's something in the AV corner. It might actually be a stamp. Uh, yes, it is. There is actually a stamp here. Right, two down, two to go. Um, we're almost out of time, but hopefully we can get all the stamps before we have to end the video. Um, probably going to be my last recording for today as well. Just because uh, I have to go pick up the woman from work. Right, there we go. Boom! Get the fuck out of my face. Who do you think you are, sir? That's right. Pay me, bitch. Where's my goddamn money? Nice. I'm having way too much fun with this game. Hey, sir. Can I interest you in a bat? I'll interest you in the thrashing of your lifetime. There we go. I, you know, I'm not... I don't know how I feel about the enemies constantly coming back in this. I mean, for gameplay reasons, it makes sense because you need to grind out cash. You know, uh, we can't get into the gun shop yet, but we will. We will. Um, obviously, you need to grind out cash, but... I don't know if there's kind of another way they could have done it. I mean, you can avoid the enemies. You don't have to fight them. Most of them are slow enough where you don't have to bother with them. But, it, as I've said, like if you want to get all the weapons, which we do, you really need a lot of money. I'm not kidding. You need a lot of money. Some of these weapons are crazy amounts of cash. Um, there's one that I'm thinking in particular that's like 600,000. Like, it's almost impossible to get the money. Let's go to the toy shop. I can't remember if we went to the toy shop. Uh, we did not go to the toy shop, no. Because this is the other gate that we opened up. Yeah, it, it's kind of like almost impossible. Well, probably impossible to get that money on one playthrough. You have to play through multiple times. Look at these, like Mega Drives or something. Yeah, Mega Drives. Right, so there we go. And with that, there's one left to get. Oh, thanks for the kiss, Tina. You really make me feel like a newborn man. Uh, anything else in here? Oh, God, yeah. One of those weird bat things. And there's fucking Freddy or whatever the fuck he's called from Five Nights at Freddy. Well, yeah, Freddy, I guess. You know, I never understood the popularity of that game. I played it um, when it first came out. And everyone was like, oh, it's the scariest game in the world. Blah, 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 blah. I played it. And I was like, what is this shit? In fact, somewhere on my channel, uh, there is a playthrough of me and my brother, my younger brother, drinking and playing it. Um, yeah, I, and somehow they managed to bring out three of those games. And I just thought it was absolute dog shit to be honest I, I don't understand it. it wasn't scary it's just annoying what are you doing 
Did you go to Rat's place? <laughs> I'm looking for Taco Pen. <laughs> that face says it all. <laughs> I'm looking for Taco Pen. Yeah. Yeah, we've gone off the rails here. I guess she doesn't <laughs> understand Bro. jokes. Oh, I God, Elliot. To be fair, we weren't joking. We were being quite truthful. We are looking for Taco Pen. And there's the last one. Done and done. So, now we have all of the stamps. This will allow us to get to the upstairs region. Now, considering I'm going to assume that this stamp thing would be a fun little game for children, what do you think they sell upstairs? If you guessed high grade, high caliber weaponry, you'd be right. In fact, there are better weapons to be found upstairs than there is in the gun shop. Um, so, yeah, try and work that out. I don't know if you can work that out. I don't know how that makes sense. Anyway. But there we go. That is the wonder of Blue Stinger. And this is a wondrous game. An amazing game. A game that I actually think has got better with age. Yes, it's janky. Yes, it's iffy. But it's just... Guess what? It's just so much fucking fun. And hey, isn't that the point of video games? To be fun? And this game really is. So, any go anyway guys, without any further waffling on, I'm going to have to say thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time. Yeah.